Welcome to Pro Tools 101 for Pro Tools HD, LE, Empowered, and all versions of Pro Tools 9. That'll wake you up. In this course, I'll show you how to use Pro Tools to record any type of audio, music, sound for picture, narration, Foley, etc. So, what is Pro Tools? As you already know, Pro Tools is a software product from the Digital Design subsidiary of Avid Technology. I like to think of it as a word processor for music. Just like you can use a word processor to write and edit words, you can use Pro Tools to record and edit audio. But just as having a word processor doesn't make you a great writer, having Pro Tools does not make you a great musician or audio engineer. You have to learn how to use the tool, and you have to bring a certain amount of creativity to the picture. You can use Pro Tools for recording and producing any type of music. Pro Tools is a great compositional tool, and with its built-in notation, you can even print off scores for musicians. Pro Tools allows you to import video and sync your audio to it, so it's great for post-production audio for film or other media. You can do dialogue replacement, foley, sound design, and of course music for film. And you can use Pro Tools for mixing and processing live sound. When you record audio in Pro Tools, you can manipulate it in countless ways. You can chop it up, move it around, and completely change the way it sounds. Pro Tools is the industry standard for manipulating audio, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this course. Now Pro Tools allows you to record and edit audio, but it also lets you record and edit MIDI. MIDI is a universal language that allows you to play real and completely made up instruments, like synthesizers, strings, and drums. You can even use MIDI to play a real MIDI instrument, like a MIDI keyboard, or to play back instruments that exist totally in software, what we call virtual instruments. There's even a complete score editor that lets you print notation for musicians. Pro Tools comes with a variety of great virtual instruments built in, and we'll be spending some time later in the course talking about MIDI and virtual instruments. As we go through the many features of Pro Tools, I'll be talking a lot about keyboard shortcuts. These shortcuts are a key to becoming a Pro Tools power user. They can really speed up your workflow, so I suggest that you try and learn as many of these shortcuts as you can. Now I know this is Mac Pro Video, but these tutorials will also work for the PC version of Pro Tools. The main difference is the modifier keys. When we use Control on the Mac, we use Start on the PC. Option on the Mac is Alt on a PC. And Command on a Mac is Control on a PC. Now let me tell you a little bit about how the course is going to work. I have a few lessons on setting up your Pro Tools system. And then we'll move right in to recording and working with audio. From there, we'll talk a lot about MIDI, and then we'll look at the mixer, about setting up your mixer with inserts, effects, and groupings. Then we'll start getting into the details of all these areas. So, without further ado, let's learn Pro Tools.